Hello and welcome to Megzone. We welcome you to the sixth module of English, where we will be studying on root words analysis and vocabulary. Although vocabulary has also been taught in the previous lectures, but in this lecture also we shall be focusing mainly on root words and vocabulary. So let's get started with the first slide. And here we have been given a question that is frequency. and we have to find out what is the antonym of frequency so in order to find out the antonym of frequency we first need to know what is the actual meaning of frequency now frequency is a very commonly used word which simply means something which is occurring after a certain period of time so that is very frequent so something which is occurring periodically is called as frequency so periodicity if we look at it is the synonym of frequency and hence it is wrong rarity rarity can be the answer because rarity means something which is occurring very rarely or something which is taking place at very rare situations next is gradualness gradualness means something which is taking place on a regular basis so gradual gradualness is also not the answer and persistency persistency simply means continuously or having continuous effort or dedication so the correct answer for this question is rarity now we come to another important question which has been asked in gate and we have to find out the antonym of the word nadir so nadir actually is a word which is used for the lowest point so the lowest point on any uh, you can say scenario is termed as nadir so and the antonym of nadir is actually a word called as zenith which represents the highest peak or the highest point okay and uh, zenith also means meeting of high or top officials okay summit zenith apex they are all synonyms to so, zenith ke kya kya synonyms ho gaye it is apex a p e x that is summit or the top most point and summit is also actually a meeting of high officials we uh, have other synonyms of some uh, zenith like pinnacle acme apotheosis okay so yahan par uh, we will see the different options that have been given to us that is highest so nadir is actually the lowest point and we have to find out the antonym so the definite answer is highest so highest becomes the answer what we have to remember here is that the antonym of the word high lowest is highest and nadir simply means lowest point okay in the next slide we will do some root word analysis and for example we have a word like pedophile pedo as we look at is the root word for child and file means love or having affinity love or affinity for something okay so a pedo file can also be a positive word or it can also be used in the negative sense a pedo file means a person who is loving children lover a person who loves children but in the negative sense it can be used for sexually abusing children for example we had michael jackson because he was accused of being a pedophile he sexually abused small children so that can be the word pedophile so we have to remember the underlined words are actually the root words and pedo means child and file means love or affinity next we come to bibliophile the word biblio is the root word for books and file means love or affinity so someone who loves books is called as a biblio file next we come to necrophile necro is actually the root word for the dead and file means love so it is a very unusual type of word necrophile how can someone love dead bodies but actually charles darwin was a necrophile we have all heard about charles darwin we have read some novels also so charles darwin was a necrophile that means he was much attracted he was he had affinity or love towards those dead bodies okay next we have some more words we have omnivorous and the word omni is the root word here and omni means all and vor means eating or has the tendency to eat so all eating means someone or something that can eat everything so those are called as omnivores so omnivores are actually the species which consume 
plants as well as animals flesh eating as well as uh, plant eating animals for example bear and frog so we have these type of species which are consuming both flesh as well as plants next we come to the word omniscient omni means all and ca sci is the root word for science so the meaning of omniscient is one who knows about everything so from these lectures we are also learning about one word substitution so if entire sentence is given and we have to replace that entire sentence by one word so the answer is omniscient next we come to the word omnipotent omni means all and potent means potential or power so one who possesses all types of power for example this is generally used for the word god the next word is omnipresent omni means all and present means to have a presence so one who is present everywhere or one who is present at all the places so this is also actually used for god so we see that the word omni can be used in so many places and in a, if i tell you when i was giving my interview for one of the companies they asked me how many words can you you make from the word omni so there i made i think at least 8 to 10 words were there that i made and i have only mentioned out of those 8 words i have told you only four so because i was quite good at the vocabulary section so i could make out all those words and uh, however i was rejected in the Uh, managerial round because they asked me some very typical type of question regarding if i was sick and i had my boss's brother in my team and i was the leader and i was sick and he was not willing to work so what could you do in that situation actually i answered them but they were not quite satisfied at some point so i was rejected however i don't regret of being rejection i of being rejected that is a different issue next we come to the word voracious voracious vor means eating and any or it also means any kind of greed or the greed which can never be satisfied next we come to voracious voracious means truth or a person who is honest and truthful so voracious and voracious are actually homophones that means they have similar type of sounds so these two words are also actually uh, very commonly used words in the vocabulary voracious and voracious and we definitely have to remember the meaning of both these words and the sense in which they are used okay we next come to another important root words that is the word die die simply means two dilemma dilemma simply means we are confused between the two options dilemma simply means a state of confusion a state of chaos a state of pandemonium that is when we are confused when we are not able to decide when we are not able to differentiate between the two options that which option is to be chosen and which is to be dropped so dilemma simply means when we are not able to decide between the two given choices the next word is diarchy and diarchy means two when the rule is being divided or having some diversion between the two parties so we should also keep in mind about the pronunciation of the different words that we are using because pronunciation also has a very deep impact on the listener as well as the speaker can also leave a very strong impact on its listeners next we come to patriarchy and with the word patter is simply related to male the word patter here means male dominated patriarchy means male dominance and this is a very but obvious problem in india the next is matriarchy matriarchy matter simply means female however female dominated societies uh, do not exist in reality but they exist only on papers and only in stories and <clears throat> next we come to the word klepto klepto simply means one who is one who is having the urge to steal one who steals or is undergoing the act of stealing so klepto means stealing the last word for this vocabulary section is acrobat and the root word here is acro which means related to height or when it is at a very large distance from the ground so that is the word acro
so with this we come to the end of this lecture we hope that you people are liking our lectures keep giving us your valuable feedbacks so that we may have a continuous improvement of our channel and discuss your problems with us on our channel you or on our facebook page and you can download all the study material from our blog page the descriptions for which have been given in the description section of every video so thank you so much